Hi everyone, welcome back. It is race week for thousands of runners, both here in Connecticut and around New England. The Eversource Hartford Marathon will be held Saturday morning. It also includes a 5K relay and a half marathon. The race kicks off at 8 o'clock right in front of the Capitol. And joining us this morning to talk more about how to prep for a big race like this, we have Ken Bruno, physical therapist with us from Hartford Healthcare. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this week leading up to running a marathon. What should runners be preparing for? So all of the uh, exercise and workouts have been leading up to this. They put all the effort in right. already. So this is this is kind of their recovery and get prepared for the actual race on Saturday. So lower volume of running. Um, it should be focused on staying loose making sure you're hydrating, just getting yourself as fully prepared for a race morning as you can. All right, some people might think that they need to go and get brand new sneakers oh, right before not. running <laughs> some things. No. What would you say to that? Yeah, so general rules are nothing new on, uh, on race day. So um, things that you've been using for the weeks up leading up to the race, you should definitely make sure that you're going to continue to use that. So socks, shoes, um, any of the clothing you're going to wear, um, any hydration that you might be carrying, if that's something you choose to do. Mm -hmm. um, those things are certainly um, needing to be tested beforehand, so you, you don't want to have a surprise on race day. Okay, and how about the importance of stretching? Before, after, would you even recommend during? What do you think? So uh, we are going to have actually um, at Bushnell Park, we're going to have a group of uh, therapists, um, occupational physical therapists and uh, athletic trainers there who will be helping uh, racers get ready for the race and then we'll be there afterwards at Bushnell Park to stretch uh, the racers once they're done. Um, focusing on dynamic warm-up is going to be a really key thing, so you don't want to, that old standard you know, 30, you know, stretch down and, and just stay there for a while. You want to, before the race, you want to be able to do something that's going to warm the muscle up, get mm -hmm. your body ready. Um, you know, you're looking for things that are going to be helpful in performance, making sure you're not straining muscles, mm -hmm. um, and then afterwards working on those uh, muscles to try to help limit some of that, that pain the next couple of days that, uh, that a lactic acid buildup right. afterwards. The pain that's really supposed to be there after running marathon, not unusual. Um, for people who might be running their first marathon this year, um, just kind of talk to us about, you know, what to expect while you're doing it. This is really not what your body's prepared for. So this is really one of those cases you need to listen to your body and what it's telling you throughout the race. Yeah, you really should. Um, a lot of the a lot of the training programs take people up, you know, on their long runs to 18, 20 mm -hmm. plus miles. So their body should be used to getting up into those higher mileage sort of ranges. Um, but getting you know to a point where you're potentially injuring yourself you want to just really listen so it could be like a little nagging hamstring it could be something in the calf um, if it feels like it's something different than what you normally have been doing mm -hmm. um, your normal runs and just you really want to pay attention and listen to what's going on and as we mentioned it's going to be a warm morning it'll be a little warmer yeah. so really something to pay attention to uh, thank you so much for joining us some really great advice we thank appreciate you appreciate you coming from, you to us from Hartford Healthcare and uh, good luck to all of our runners this weekend as well now let's